video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use symbol variants of a plugin called Symbol Stipulism. It's from Astute Graphics, and I'm going to use it to create a sort of random image with random numbers. So, I'm just going to have these. Now, I could do it manually. I could just add, obviously, duplicate these numbers and just add them, move them around, scan them. But you can do it quickly using this tool. Now, first thing you do, just select that, and they're just standard numbers, standard letters I've just created just using the type tool. They're all separate, so everyone is separate. Now, what I'm going to do, window and symbols, that's there, so just there. Just drag that over. So that's the first thing, created as a symbol. Now, don't have to do the rest. It's quite a nice way of actually bringing in all the other designs as symbols very quickly, just by, you can go to object, and create symbol variants. So select that. I've set that off, delete. Don't particularly like that, so I always put it off. And new symbol is the uh, one I've just created there. Click OK. And you see straight away, bang, they're all over there in the symbols. They're just standard symbols. So now, to move those out of the way. Might use those in another project in a few minutes. Now, just select, you of course could select any shape. You don't have to select just a rectangle. Just rectangle is probably one of the quickest and easiest of designs, but you could use maybe face, image, any number of paths. Just, I'm just using a standard, very one single square. Now, first, next thing to do, just go to the effect itself. So effect and stipulism and symbol stipple. There's lots of things, stipulism and stipple. Now while that's selected, obviously you see it's selected there, nothing shown at this present point. Preview is off. I always think that's just odd, but uh, preview, quickly turn that on, and straight away you can see now, these are the numbers, all added randomly. Then you can, of course, randomize it, just click there, until you're happy with your random symbol design. Now, Key thing here is that you've actually selected new symbols and also include variants. There's nine, it says. There is actually um, a way of modifying this. There's a, a language, a variance language, but I'm not going to go through that in this video. So it's quite a, there are a number of options for creating variants and changing them. Now, you can modify the scale so you can just say, say 50. So you just reduce it, but it obviously creates a vast number, a lot more. So you might want to reduce the density down at that point as well. Or you can go the other way and make it a very, very dense numbers, zero, two, two, five, whatever. So I'm just going to reduce that down so it's a bit quicker to process. You can store and recall the randomized studies. So if you have a different, if you put the seed in there, set that seed and you can see recall it and store it. Now, Another option, you can vary the scale, so you can maybe make it two or five, so you can make it bigger. I think two is quite often be really quite nice. Also, you can vary rotation, so you can just sort of have it rotate. Maybe one, sort of like 45 degrees, all of them 0.45, or with this, randomize rotation. There's also rotation for, there's lots of other options as well. Right, that's it, very simple way of generating an interesting design made up of lots of different numbers. And of course you could use A, B, C, D, or maybe different alphabets, different fonts, so on and so on. Not just the ones I've just created. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.